Right guys, as you can see, I'm in my kitchen and that's because I love to cook and it's a good job I do because my mum won't mind me saying that she's not a very good cook at all. If I want anything to eat that doesn't come in a tin, can forget about it, I've got to cook it myself. So one of my favourite foods has got to be steak. When I heard about Patrick, Ted and Nick's idea for a kitchen utensil challenge, I thought what a brilliant idea, I'm really looking forward to getting involved with this. So that's what this video is going to be. It's the Kitchen Utensil Challenge 2015. There's loads of great woodworkers taking part in this challenge. There'll be links to all of their channels below. So when you watch this, make sure you go down and have a look at all of their videos. I'm really looking forward to see what they all make and I'm sure you can't wait to. I'm thinking about making a meat tenderising mallet. So whenever I have some a little bit tough steak or if I'm going to do some stir fry or something like that, I can use the wooden mallet to make it nice and tender. So come with me and see how I make it. And I'll apply in the side to the handle, nice and flat. Now I've got all the sides nice and flat and smooth, I want to create a taper at this end so we can wedge fit into the mortise on the head of the mallet. And that creates quite an extreme taper but into the fat side. And I'll just tape it down. I've got marked out ready for a mortise and that's marked all the way down onto the other side as well so when I get halfway down I can flip it over and start from the bottom so I don't get any tear out. I'm going to be using my makeshift mallet as I need to still make a proper woodworking one. I definitely don't want to use my metal hammer on my new chisel so I'm going to be using my brand new Narex with a beautiful boxwood handle. Beautiful chisel, so I'll see how I can get on with this. Got a decent mortise now, it's clean enough for me and I'm happy with the fit. I've tested the handle, Let's give it another go. Let's get the wire ring run. See. There is some gaps but it's my first try so I'm I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna not fix it on, I'm gonna remove the handle and I'm going to work on creating the teeth on the mallet that will be used to tenderise the meat. So I'll do that now. To cut out the teeth, I'm going to be using my brand new Veritas rip saw.
got all those cut now for the teeth and I've done some final rounding over on the belt sander but I didn't record that because it's just boring, just sandy. I'm now going to fit in the handle and when I've got the handle fitted in then I'll round over the edges of the handle just to make it feel nicer in the hand. There is slight gaps but I'm happy with how small them are. I'm going to try and knock it on a bit further. That'll do. I'll get some shaping done on the handle now. So what do you think? This is my finished mallet. I don't think it come out too bad. I'm really happy with my first attempt at a mortise and how well that handle has fit. I do try and show there is a few small gaps, but for my first try, I don't think it's too bad at all. So thank you all for watching. I hope you liked it. Don't forget, there's a list of people who's taking part in the kitchen utensil challenge. So make sure you go and check out what they've made. I'm heading straight there now to see what they've all been up to. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you want to leave a comment asking any questions, if you want to share this video with your friends as well, maybe that you've got a, a budding chef or someone who just enjoys cooking as much as I do, they might find this video interesting. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'll try and get a video up every week, when possible of course, and I'd love to have you as a subscriber. I hope you like what I produce. Thank you again for watching.